Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for at any time in December. I am going to do weeklies, so stay tuned for those. But this is for at any point in December, so we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One card for December. Out of this deck, please. What do we have for Pisces for December? What do we have for Pisces? World card. So this says universe. So this is the world. This is a completion, a major completion, a completion of a project. Leaving the past behind, moving towards the future. Something has come full circle. This is the end of something. Something that was very prominent in your life is coming to an end. Uh, being in the flow, being in total balance. This is a new beginning. It's a whole new you. Something has a lesson that you have learned has caused your evolution okay so there also could be a change of residence here with the world card um, but this is a major completion of a project or a phase something that was very prominent in your life has come full circle it's over it's done it's time for you to start a new life it's time for your new beginning it's time for you to um, start leave the past behind for one thing because the world usually in the other cards she's saying goodbye to the past you're saying goodbye to something you're going to be saying goodbye to something um starting a new uh phase okay you're about to start a new phase and this is accomplishment as well you've learned some sort of lesson because the world card is you've learned a major lesson it was a life lesson, okay? Something has happened in your life that has taught you a major life lesson. Now it's time to work on the next one. So, what do we got for Pisces? Well, we got these two right here that did come out all the way. There's more than one. There's two. I didn't see them. That means I'm going to have to uh, just lean it, one of them up against this tree right here because I like to improvise. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Eight of Cups saying goodbye. Yeah, I knew that you were. Well, let's see if I can cause some problems here. So, yeah, that is saying goodbye. This is saying goodbye. Leaving behind a messy situation. There's some sort of emotional disappointment right here with the eight of cups it's sad um just don't want to do it anymore going down a new path leaving the whole mess behind somebody and whether it's you or somebody else these readings can go vice versa um my weeklies are going to be you and the other person so that ought to be interesting but anyway um different spread Anyhow, um, this is leaving some, you're definitely, or somebody is either leaving you behind or you are leaving them behind. It's very, very messy. It's, it looks like it, there's a lot of, uh, well, it's a big, huge mess. And I feel like you're, you're ready to just, or you or them, somebody's saying goodbye by the looks of things. Now we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is a major completion. Okay, just like this one. So you definitely, definitely have a major completion in your life. Some A chapter or a cycle is coming to an end. Um, I think this is very exciting. I think it's exciting. I think that uh, there's a change in direction. Something ends. And I think that it, it happens abruptly. I don't need the tower. But it looks like there's something crazy. It's crazy. It's a, it, it happens so fast. I think it's a very fast ending whatever it is but it's very positive as well these are very they, these two are very positive this is leaving behind a mess it's like just leaving it there see ya so whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with somebody is, is definitely leaving something behind um wheel of fortune now this may have to do with 2021 maybe january 2021 um but whatever, because we have this 10, 
could be October as well. Something could have started in October. Now it's coming to an end. I don't know. Um, but that Wheel of Fortune is a positive change. A positive change in direction. It's the end of life as you know it. It's the end of something where there's been a lot of emotional disappointment. It's over now. And you can now it's almost like you're free. You're free. You're free to focus on the future. Um Hmm. Positive change, whatever this is, it's it is definitely positive. Life is always changing, and your life is definitely about to change. You may I don't know if somebody has been at the right place at the right time, or they may find themselves at the right place at the right time. You may find yourself running, running after something because this person is running, trying to stop something from getting away. You know, it looks like there's something that is getting away, but I, I feel like it's meant to, you know, maybe you should just let it go. <laughs> so what do we got? November. November is very prominent. I'm not sure if something has happened in November that has changed your... Uh, outlook or something like that. November seems to be very prominent. Wreath, sorrow over a loss. We, ha we had this, maybe it was in November. I don't know. I don't know, but it, maybe it's still happening in December. There's definitely sorrow over a loss with this card as well. Somebody's saying goodbye and it's sad. It is sad. So there's some sort of sadness here. Dagger, fear, worry, Fear, worries, tense situations. So yeah, I do feel like you're going to be in some sort of tense situation. I can see it here. It's like something is getting away. It's getting away and you have to catch it or you're trying to catch it or something or needing to. Uh, you want to, or you, but maybe you can't. Maybe it's just not meant to be. I don't know. But typically the Wheel of Fortune is a fate. It's a fated event and this is an ending. So I think we have a fated ending, a fated completion. We have a completion here, definitely. This is the end of something very prominent in your life. Something that, that you know, uh, you've been involved with for quite some time. And maybe that's why there's fear or there's worries or there's tense situations because something is coming to an end. You know, and that can cause emotional disappointment. So something is happening this month or it ha started in November and it's proceeding into December and even January. I just feel like January is prominent as well because of this 2020 or I see 21. It's a 21, but I keep seeing in my head 2021. But I feel like it's the beginning of 2021. Hmm. Somebody may be running away. I'm not sure if that's the case, but it feels like that could be the case. So what do we have for Pisces? Somebody's going somewhere. They're going down another path and they're leaving behind a messy situation. And I think that's, you know, there's some sort of sadness surrounding the whole deal. Nine of Swords reversed. <clears throat> Extremely worried. Extremely worried. Uh, may Somebody may have some regrets as well. So they may be feeling guilty or ashamed or extremely worried about um, somebody leaving. This is extremely worried. Sad. Having a hard time sleeping. Dreaming. Thinking. Maybe even some sort of paranoia. Um, not listening to gut. Somebody's not listening to their gut. Definitely in a tense situation. Unable to choose. There's a level of indecision here. Somebody is at that point where they need to make a decision and they haven't been able to this is at that crossroads they haven't been able to to make a decision or they just have been too fearful there's definitely some fear here there's fear and there's there's stagnation with that two of wands reversed 
there's fear of change, there's restricting oneself, there's lack of planning as well, there's fear of the unknown. So I feel like there's there's a lot of fear of what the future has to hold. But there's a need to accept and allow that that uh, everything happens for a reason. I'm not sure if you have met up with somebody, you know, unexpectedly. I don't know if that's the case or not. But the Wheel of Fortune is being at the right place at the right time. And it changes the circumstances. It changes your world, right? So, um, yeah, I feel like there's somebody that is staying put. They are staying put. Um, being held back, you know, they're being held back, choosing the safest option. Or they, they're, yeah, they're choosing the safest, safest option, but they're really, really unhappy in that situation. Um, Page of Wands. Now, the Page of Wands is typically good news. Good news arriving. An exciting opportunity. Somebody is getting an exciting opportunity. There's a need to stay focused. I wonder if for some of you, if there's something better coming in. There's something better. There's something better for you here. Something may have burst into your world all of a sudden and you're having a hard time accepting it. There is positive change though and there's sadness. There's sadness over saying goodbye. So I think that you're saying goodbye to something. And it's a struggle. It is definitely a struggle. I think you're giving deep thought to a partnership or a contract or something like that. Deep, 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 deep thought. And I think that there is some deep sorrow over a departure because that two of wands is a, maybe it's a sudden departure. There could be a sudden arrival as well. Whatever it is, it's a sudden change. I think it is exciting though. I do with that page of wands. This is an exciting opportunity for somebody. Um... It is good news. I mean, the Page of Wands is typically good news arriving, an offer or an invite. This is a new discovery. Somebody's taking a new direction. They're moving in a new direction. There could be a change of residence here, too, with that Universe card and the Page of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. So, yeah, and it's sad. It's sad to say goodbye. So I do feel like it's sad to say goodbye to something, but I feel like there is a change in the air. There's a big change. It's a major change with these majors, with these universe and the Wheel of Fortune. This is end of end of a cycle as you know it, okay? And I think it's very, very sad. But on the flip side, it's exciting, okay? You're going to need to, somebody needs to be brave. They need to be brave and not let fear of the unknown stop them. There is fear of the unknown here. Ooh, three of swords reversed. Now that is leaving the past hurts behind. On the path to recovery, forgiveness is needed. Somebody's going to need to forgive. They're going to need to accept and allow for sure. Go with it. This is a fated event. It's a fated life change. There's been a lot of hurt. There's been a painful separation. Somebody may feel guilty. They may be feel guilty. I think I just said that, didn't I? <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, I feel like there's some sort of guilt here. Extremely regretful. But this is this is on the path to recovery. I do feel like there's some sort of emotional disappointment here. Um... Chariot. Now, the chariot is out of control, not under your control, unable to master emotions, not going anywhere, it's trying to stop or stopping. Uh, there's, there's some sort of delay. There's lack of control or out of control. I don't know if there could be some car issues this month as well. I know I'm changing it, but when you get the wheel and the, get the, the chariot, there could be some vehicle issues, some car issues. You know, no traveling, you know, a hard time traveling, a hard time going somewhere. Um, it could be something to do with a vehicle. Um, 
somebody, something could happen that causes a huge loss and changes your life, put it that way. I mean, I hate to say that, but um, that chariot in reversed is lack of direction. You know, there could be an emotional outburst ahead, feeling emotions all over the place. You know, I do feel like there is going to be emotions all over the place. I feel like there's a lot of tears. There's sadness. Uh, and I don't know if it's over a departure because it could be a sudden departure with that two of wands reversed. You, you never saw it coming. You know, it was happened so fast. Um, the chariot reversed. That's stop. Stop. Can't control. Out of control. Um, very, very worried. Uh, extremely upset somebody may be extremely upset extremely over, upset over moving uh, you know because this is this can be moving this is moving this is moving hmm. this is saying goodbye I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio because Scorpio had some similar cards I believe I don't know. Um, Eight of Cups doesn't have to be a Scorpio. But the Eight of Cups is emotional disappointment, saying goodbye, leaving something behind that has been, uh, you know, it's sad. It's sad, but it's time. It's time. It is time. Hmm. Nine of coins reversed. Now that's unstable, insecure. Need for discipline. There's a need for discipline here. Somebody needs to find their discipline to forgive, perhaps? Because this is forgiveness. Three of swords reversed. This is releasing pain. Somebody needs to find their strength. There's a lack of strength here. There's a lack of... Uh, willpower we got somebody here that has no willpower has has no self-esteem there's no self-confidence here somebody needs to find it they need to find their ability to move forward whatever that means for you i mean there's there's i don't know if there's some money problems here as well there could be some financial insecurity that is keeping somebody stuck they, that is keeping making somebody so worried somebody may be worried about financial security or financial stability or money very very upset by the looks of things I feel like there, um, there's a need to take action. There is with both of these cards. Somebody needs to take action. They're stalling. They're stalling. And it feels like they're hurting themselves by stalling. But this is a good news. It's an offer or an invite um, to start fresh. Accepting an offer. Leaving the past behind. Somebody really... Uh, is packing up and leaving home. They're packing up and they're leaving home. Nothing stays the same. This is definitely a major life change. Somebody has been, there's, there's a lot of memories. There's gonna be a lot of memories on the table. There's gonna be a lot of tears here. Tears of leaving something behind. Leaving memories behind, leaving somebody behind. Somebody's being left behind by the looks of things or something. And there's a lot of memories and there's tears and there's sadness. But this is, I feel like this is freedom from obligation. It is. It's, it's like packing up, leaving home. This is an exciting new journey. It really, really is. This is starting from scratch. You're going to be starting from scratch. But I feel like there's going to be a lot of nostalgia and there's going to be a lot of tears because it's kind of like it's bittersweet. Um, hmm. Nothing stays the same. Life is a bit. I don't know if there's children leaving or a separation between parents and children or something like that. It certainly could be, or I don't know. Nine of Cups. Now, the Nine of Cups is extreme happiness, it's abundance, it's something to celebrate. So, this is getting what you deserve. This is having it all. This is having plenty. 
This is happiness, success, wishes coming true. Somebody's wishes are coming true. They're realizing their dreams. This is the good life. So somebody is getting an offer that will bring them abundance. This is absolutely abundance. This is, somebody may even be getting, you know, some sort of award. I don't know. But this is very, very happy. Extremely satisfied. You're going to be extremely satisfied. You are in the end. In the end, you're going to be extremely satisfied with this change, but, and you're going to have plenty, and you're going to be comfortable, but there's going to be sadness, and that's why sorrow over, and this was, it starts in November, or October even. I feel by January, uh, or even, I don't know when, by January, things are really going to start happening. There may be some sort of delay right now. But and right now it's emotional. It's very, very, very emotional. But you're, this, this offer, because this is an offer, is going to make you extremely happy. Okay? You're, this is extreme happiness. This is a wish being granted. Leaving the past hurts behind on the path to recovery. You are going to be on the path to recovery. But it's going to be super, super, super emotional. Um... You may be, somebody could be, or somebody may have burst into your world that has really re awakened some of your feelings, you know, or something has happened that has awakened your memories or your feelings or something like that. I don't know, because that is feelings and memories right here. And this is a burst, okay? So, but this is, this is, uh, the Nine of Cups is deep satisfaction, having it all there is an opportunity to have it all but there for, will be forgiveness forgiveness will be needed and it, there somebody needs to deal with their own insecurities they need to take action this means you must somebody needs to find their mental strength and uh confidence and self-esteem to take action right now to get it's almost like to to go you have to you have to let go of your insecurities let go of your fear replace your fear with faith there's something that is really really worrying you and i feel and i don't know if it's paranoia or there's fear of rejection or something like that it all it is is fear all it is is fear you can do you can do it you have to be brave this is a card of bravery it's i bravery and i can i can i can do this i can so Somebody's packing up and they're leaving and I think it's I think it's bittersweet but I think that at the end of this you're going to be very very successful wherever you've been or whatever has happened consider it an accomplishment okay you've you've successfully completed one phase of your life you are now stepping into the next phase you are about to begin a new chapter where it's a lot more exciting it's a lot more um fulfilling put it that way um, but I see a lot of fear. I see fear of change. And not exactly with this card, these two cards. That's fear of change. But life is changing whether you like it or not. Somebody is saying goodbye. I think it's going to be chaotic. Okay? That's chaos. That is. That's chaos. That's, um... Losing control sudden change now it was right there and then I lost it I hate it when that happens and there we go it was right there and then I lost it I feel like you're going to be overwhelmed. You're going to be overwhelmed. And now oh, there it is. Need to adapt. You're going to need to adapt. You're going to need to adapt to change really, really fast.
So yeah, that's what I got, Pisces. I feel like this month you're going to be saying goodbye to your old life. I think that you'd also need to be careful. Be careful with your health, okay? Um, I feel like somebody could trip. They could they could trip, okay? They may be trying to do too much. They may not be looking where they're going. They could trip. They could fall. Um, I think that you need to slow down. I think you need to slow down and try not to do too much at one time. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Yes, life is changing. Just go with the flow. And follow your gut because of that nine of swords that in reverse that's somebody who's not following their gut and somebody that is uh, it's almost like something is getting away and I don't know what that means but you need to follow your gut we got some definite insecurities here that is stopping somebody from believing in themselves from moving forward we have somebody that lacks self-esteem lacks self-confidence and it may have something to do with driving there could be something to do with driving here stuck stuck somebody is stuck they may be stuck maybe they're stuck in an unhappy partnership or something like that can't go but they need to they need to find their their strength and their willpower and their courage and their confidence and all of the resources within them to take the lead and step up to the plate anyway i do feel like uh you are going to be happy you're going to be something really really good is coming for you it's very very exciting this is a new phase it's a new direction you are going in a new direction and i think it's very very sudden and i think it happens because of a loss Good luck. And don't forget to subscribe.